Christmas is coming soon and of course that means the new Doctor Who Christmas special is also very soon and through the years um, Doctor Who has released new uh, Christmas specials every year and I decided why not share my top five favorite Christmas specials. Just before we get started I would like to say that um, I don't think many people would agree with my list to be honest. Um, yeah I, I just have that very strange feeling that no one will agree with my list so first off my apologies if you know they aren't in the right order that you would want them to be in or if yours favorite uh, special isn't on the list I apologize uh, this was a tough list to make to be honest and there were a few that I wanted to put on uh, but these are the five that I personally enjoy so with that said and my apologies uh, but this is my own personal uh, list like this is my own personal opinion of what I prefer if you have uh, others that are your favorite or if you like one more than the ones that I have said and um, you know tell me comment down below and I'd love to hear it and with that said let's get this list started so we're starting off with the husbands of river song which came out at Christmas 2015 and um, I really enjoyed this because uh, I think Peter Capaldi does a great job as the doctor I and mean, I think he's great and this is the first time we actually see him with River Song and I thought it was a good way to actually wrap up the whole thing with River Song and um, I also kind of liked how River doesn't actually know he's the doctor she never met that uh, regeneration of the doctor she had the pictures of all the other versions of the doctor that came before him and um, but yeah she has no idea he's a doctor I think it's funny that he sort of goes along with it he doesn't actually reveal he's the doctor until uh, the moment that he does it's actually quite funny but when he goes into the TARDIS and he's pretending as if he's you know like all the others that have entered the TARDIS he's pretending that it's like oh my god it's bigger on the inside I just think the way he does that is pretty interesting um, I also like the the whole bit with River at the end of the episode I thought it was good um, uh, Matt Lucas's character is introduced in this episode and I can't believe that I forget but he's actually one of my favorites from season 10 um, yeah my mind's gone blank um, but his character is introduced in this episode Greg Davies uh, does a great job as the the king uh, I just think that's really funny um, but yeah this is my number five favorite uh, Doctor Who Christmas special so number four is another Capaldi uh, episode where it is the last Christmas from 2014 uh, yeah 2014 uh, and Nick Frost as Santa Claus is absolutely hilarious I love his work uh, especially when he's with Simon Pegg in the Cornetto trilogy absolutely great I would have loved it if Simon Pegg wasn't this with him which would have been funny and um, but he I think uh, Nick Frost really works well with Peter Capaldi on this uh, sort of like the snarkiness uh, of Capaldi and uh, Santa and this is hilarious uh, this would have been a good way to actually get rid of Clara I think but I definitely understand why the writers didn't go that route because it's Christmas time and some fans do like Clara uh, I personally don't see why but you know I, I won't say they're wrong to like her but um, I can understand why they wouldn't get rid of her because it's Christmas time and you don't want to get rid of a companion that's been with the doctor for so long on like Christmas and you know so at the same time though I kind of wish they did just get rid of Clara in this episode but um, I kind of did like the idea of the creatures 
um, like putting them into uh, like a dream state which I actually thought was really nice and um, you know it's not a completely original idea or anything but I like this episode mostly because of Nick Frost and Capaldi's performances uh, with the Santa and like doctor arguments and I, I just think that's really good and I just it, it kind of reminded me of the uh, the Robin Hood episode but I think it's just done a little bit better in this one. The End of Time is uh, taking the number three spot uh, from 2009 and uh, I, I thought it was good. It, again, this could have been a good way to actually get rid of the master. Um, I think John Sims is actually a good master. Um, now I have recently watched uh, Terror of the Autons um, towards the end of the summer. Uh, so um, a lot of people will be going all oh, the classic masters all the best and whatever um, I, I personally enjoyed John Sims as the master uh, especially when uh, in the end of season 3 I thought he was really good and I genuinely liked his performance in this as well um, I also liked how uh, Wilf was with the Doctor Wilf is a great character I really enjoyed him um, the Doctor himself, uh, David Tennant usually does a great performance as the Doctor and you know the this final story that he did, now not counting the day of the Doctor because I count that more of as an 11th story but uh, the end of time I thought was very well done and the ending of it as well like this was like a two-parter and the end of the second part like it was just really nicely done I don't really want to spoil it but it's the thing between Wilf and the Doctor and it was a great way to actually kind of end David Tennant's uh, run as the Doctor and it was a very nice story as well especially uh, in the end at the end of the first part uh, where you sort of have the drumming of the master like the drums in the master's head uh, they actually incorporate that and it is quite interesting I really enjoyed that and I wouldn't have thought of that at all and Timothy Dalton uh, as the main Time Lord uh, antagonist I thought was actually really good uh, Timothy Dalton is a really great performance in this So Voyage of the Damned uh, from 2007 um, this one is known for having Kylie Minogue and the episode well the reason I sort of always remember this episode is because uh, of the song in it I think is really great uh, the stowaway uh, if you haven't heard of it check it out uh, it is a great Christmas song to listen to absolutely fantastic to listen to I I actually love listening to it I've listened to it probably like 10 times this December at least um, it's a really good Christmas song uh, I do really enjoy uh, the whole relationship with uh, Astral and uh, the Doctor in this um, I also really like how it's like a Poseidon adventure um, like in space kind of thing which is really good uh, the, the whole thing with the host uh, is kind of interesting and the antagonist of this yeah I understand like some people kind of think it's like a bit too much like a Saturday cartoon almost and yeah I definitely see that but I kind of just like it for that uh, this is also the first episode to actually introduce Wilf um, but I do really like the idea of like the doctor um, when he's just trying to question the host at one point in the kitchen and he only has three questions and he accidentally wastes two of the questions so he's um, he's trying to like incorporate everything that he's uh, trying to do uh, into one question 
to get as much information as possible uh, before they actually kill him and yeah I, I just think it's very well done the whole thing towards the end um is quite uh sad i think um but at the same time it is quite good as well it is interesting um because it i never really thought they were going to go that route really with it because it was a christmas special um, but I did like uh, Clive Swift's character uh, like what happened to him towards the end I thought it was really nice uh, overall I genuinely think that this is a really good episode it has some funny moments as well uh, like with Balacatalata Bala uh, I probably pronounced his name wrong there um, he was an interesting like uh, character design as well um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed Voyage of the Damned. So my number one Christmas special uh, is The Next Doctor with David Morrissey uh, and David Tennant working together. And this, I think this could have worked a lot better if there was no internet because you know if the producers and that like i'm sure they probably say it over tv or whatever but if, uh, if they didn't announce uh that oh the next doctor will be announced uh da, 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 or whatever um i think this would worked better because david morrissey uh thinks his his character thinks he's the doctor and sort of how it works is actually quite good because I actually found his character really interesting in this episode and I love how he sort of like has like a TARDIS he has his own Rose companion and um, I really like the Cybermen in this episode because I was a big fan of the Cybermen <clears throat> sorry I'm a big fan of the Cybermen and I haven't actually seen any of the classic uh, Who stories with the Cybermen in it uh, but I am going to get it around to them at some stage like they are next on my list but I really enjoy like the Age of Steel like the alternate universe Cybermen I really enjoyed the Doomsday like episodes of Cybermen and um, I really enjoy <clears throat> sorry I really enjoyed the ending of season uh, 10 I with the Cybermen and um, the one with Missy introduced first introduced with the Cybermen I wasn't a big fan of that is the only Cyberman story that I wasn't a fan of. Um, but even when the 11th Doctor was against the Cybermen in the theme park, uh, I really enjoyed that episode as well. I love the Cyberman stories. And this was a really well done a Cyberman story, I think. And also, I, I love uh, David Morrissey's performance in this. Uh, and you really could imagine him as the Doctor. Like it is absolutely amazing and I love how the actual Doctor reveals himself to be the Doctor to the Cybermen and it is very well done and I just love uh, this episode. So those are my top five favorite uh, Doctor Who Christmas specials as of 2017. This is before the 2017 Christmas special so that may or may not uh, replace uh, one of the specials on the list and if you enjoyed this video hit the like button uh, if you have uh, others that are your favorite comment down below I'd love to hear them again like this was a tough list to make because I was definitely considering a like a Christmas Carol and uh, the runaway uh, bride at one point and <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> I was even uh, considering the Dr. Mysterio episode um, but this one, this list, um, you know, I'd, I just really had to think about it, like which ones I really enjoyed. Uh, so I would really like to hear your guys' um, favorite episodes, like comment down below or make your own video. I'd love to see it. Um, I do have my top five favorite uh, Ninth Doctor episodes up on my channel if you guys like to check it out. And I also have... Um, a video of my classic Doctor Who 
a DVD collection up on the channel but uh, after Christmas I probably will do an update because I will be getting a few over Christmas but I can't guarantee when they'll be up it might be in the middle of January when I get time <clears throat> uh, sorry my, my throat is actually really sore right now so I want to thank you guys for watching hit that like button please and um, subscribe stay up to date with more videos that I will have in the future check out uh, my other videos that I have up on the channel uh, if you want me to do a review of the 2017 Christmas special a comment down below and I will get to it uh, eventually probably the 27th because you know I do want to spend time with family and friends um, but I will definitely get event around to it if you comment down below and I really want to thank you guys for watching goodbye